East West location of your emergency. Uh, 246 Wells Road. 246 Wells Road, what's happening there? I just killed Camille. Sorry? I just killed Anna Camille. Uh, I didn't, didn't catch that, sir. I just killed Anna Camille, I need to be rested. I've got injuries to myself as well. Right, okay. So 246 Wells Road in Bristol, yeah? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, confirm postcode for me. BS4, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. in November. Yeah. Right, okay, what's your name? Jeffrey George Barry. Okay then, Jeffrey. I warned him. I warned him. You've warned him? Yeah, I warned, I warned uh, uh, the crisis team. You've spoken to the crisis team, right? Yeah, and you ignored me. They ignored you? Yeah. You're not dead now, in the uh, in body. He's dead, is he? You got? I slashed the uh, hand in the moment. Right. Please. Oh, yeah, how can I help you? You're through to the police. Is this an emergency? Please. Is this an emergency? Yeah. Yeah, why? I think I just killed a wife. Your wife, is it? Yeah. Okay, what's your address? Are you at home? Yeah. Yeah, what's the address there? <laughs> 11 Lansdowne. Where is it, sorry? 11 Lansdowne. 11 Lansdowne? Yeah. Okay. Where are you now then? Are you still in the house? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it, I said Levin Lansdowne, I've got Levin Lansdowne Drive or Road? No, just Lansdowne, Sebastopol. In Sebastopol? Okay, I'll find it now, don't you worry, okay? The, the call, call an ambulance just in case. And an ambulance as well, okay. So what's happened then between you and your wife today for this to have happened? Did you have an argument and... Did you just, just, just call an ambulance and, and call the police. Yeah, you're through to the police, that's fine, okay, so I'm putting a log on now and we'll call the ambulance out as well, okay, but what's happened? <laughs> I stabbed her. You stabbed her, did you? Yeah. Okay, have you got a knife on you now? Pardon? Have you got a knife on you now? No. Where's your wife? In, in bed. She's led in bed, is she? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? No, it's M-A-W-G-S. Is it David I'm speaking to? David, yes. Yeah. Hiya, David, okay. We're going to be sending help out to you now, okay? Is there a lot of blood, or...? Yeah. Yeah? Is she speaking to you, or do you think she's passed away? I'm passed away, I think. Okay. And what makes you think now? Can you see if she's still breathing, or is she talking, I don't know. Or... I don't know, I just, I just lost it. You just lost it? So did you have an argument, did you? I just lost it. Oh, he just come and say, just to help me. You what, sorry? Just help me. Huh? We'll send help to you now, okay? That's actually what I'm doing for you. I'm going to type this up for you, okay? Oh, God help me. Hello? Hello, is that Danny? Hello. Hello, Danny. My name's Ross. I'm calling you from the police. Hello. Hello. I just had your dad on the phone. Okay. Um, what, what's happened, mate? I can't remember. I was pissed. Who's the lady? My neighbour. Your neighbour? Uh, yeah, I invited her in because I'm a nicest guy. And she went to talk to the toilet and I pushed her. I didn't know why. I didn't know why I'd done it for. I think I was. I don't know if I lost it all. I don't know. When did this happen? Yesterday. I was scared. What time yesterday, mate? Six. Danny? Yeah? You're alright. What, 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 what time yesterday no. was it? What time? was six. About six o'clock last night? Yeah. Whereabouts are you at the moment? I went and saw my missus. In Lowestoft. Which is where? Whereabouts in Lowest? Yeah, whereabouts in Lowestoft? Uh, forgot what road. You forgot what road. So whereabouts are you at the moment? Are you still with you, Mrs? Yeah, I'm there. Getting a taxi. Back. You stay where you are, okay? Alright? You stay where you are, and we'll, we'll get someone to come and see you first of all, okay? Police emergency. Hello, it sounds like my neighbours are um, doing something bad to their kid in the bath, like they're really hurting them. 
Okay, what's the address? Okay. Right, so do you know what the names are? The woman's called Carla. And the guy is called Dean. Yes. So the female is Carla, and the <laughs> bloke is who? Um, I think he's called Dean. Okay, so how long has it been going on for today? I've just heard some noise over the last oh, 15 minutes. Um, I heard lots of banging, and it sounded like someone crashing around in a bathtub went into the toilet, and it sounds like you can hear this guy, he's being hit and held under the water or something, and like loads of flashing around. It's concerning because I know they've got social services involvement as well, and the police have been before a few times. Okay. So you say social services are involved? They are, yeah. Okay. Alright then, and what about the woman? Can you hear her at all? Um, I can go upstairs now because I've got my sleep in here as well, but I could, um, I could hear her voice. I could just hear Ray's voices. And um, was it, did it sound like she was involved in what was going on with the kid, or was it just the male? It, it sounded more like just the male. Okay. And this is it still going on at the moment? Oh, no, I can still hear banging, yeah, it's come downstairs, but I can't hear as much now. Banging downstairs? Um, no, I'm downstairs. I thought I just heard a big bang. Um, hold on. It's quieter now, but I could... Um... No, I can hear movement, no. When you say you can hear movement, what, what do you mean? What's... Um, it just sounded like I could hear, like, footsteps and someone walking. Okay, so no more noise from the bathroom, then? And you, are they, is it, is it always changing? Um... No, I think someone's still in there. Did you wait, make out what was being said at all? It sounded, um, no I couldn't, I could hear like, um, swear words, I could hear fucking something and something and it just sounded threatening and unpleasant but I couldn't make out words, I could just make out the tone and the, the you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, not at the moment. I was just really concerned because the noise was already loud um, and what I could hear it didn't sound like the thought. It sounded like a kid was really distressed and fluttering. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for letting us out to officers in the area now for immediate deployment. All right? Yeah, thank you. Now, if you hear anything more and anything escalating in any way, give us another ring and let us know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Police emergency, go ahead. Hello, I think I killed my wife. You think you've killed your wife? Yeah. House name or number there, please? That one, number 37. 37. Okay, what makes you think you've killed her? I stabbed her. You stabbed her? Yeah. Okay, where have you stabbed your wife? All over the place. Okay. Where is she? Is she in, in the flat? She's on the floor. What have you stabbed her with? A knife. Stay on the phone from me. Hi, okay. Hi. We're gonna get some help out there. We're gonna get some help out there, okay? What's your wife's name? Who was it in here? I need to be locked up now, I'm crazy. Okay, we're gonna get some help out My there. My head told me to do something, I've done it. Okay. So it's coming, yeah? We're gonna get some help out here. I want you to stay on the phone with me until we get there, though, Mihai. Is that okay? Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Why has this happened tonight? 
don't know, I'm just, I've got mental problems. Have you been diagnosed with anything? Yeah, depression. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you stabbed it with a knife? Yeah, two knives actually. Okay, and what type of knives are they? Kitchen knives. <laughs> Where are those knives at the moment? Uh, in the flat. I haven't got none on me. Okay. Is there anyone else in the house with you? No. You don't have any children together or anything like that? Got a son, but he's at my mum's. My mum don't okay. So you have a son together, but he is not with you at the moment? No. Okay. So you're saying that this has happened because, um, because you, you're suffering from depression, is that right? Yeah, I got mental health problems really bad. Okay. Can you tell me whether she's um, still breathing? I don't know, I don't want to go near her. You don't want to go near her, okay. Yeah. What room are you in? I'm in the room. Um, t just tell me again which room she's in. Um, the hallway, sorry. Okay, what I need to ask you, okay, is whether um, you're going to be a, a danger to any of my officers that are going to be coming out to see you. No. No, I need help. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're going to get you some help. I'm going to arrange that for you, I okay? Need a towel. I just had a shower. So, say again? I just had a shower. I'm just had a shower, have you? Okay. I just need you to tell me where those knives are. They're not on you One at the moment, the are they? One knife is in the kitchen, yeah? One is in the kitchen, I don't know where. Okay. Say in the bedroom? Yeah. Okay. So you had a shower since you stabbed her, is that right? Yeah. You say you stabbed her all over her body? Yeah, in the neck maybe. As I say, we're, gonna, we're organising help for you, okay? And they're coming get, out. They're coming out already, okay? Um, do you have? They're going to come there as soon as they can, all right, my high. So they're going to be with you as soon as you can. But I'm going to stay with you until we get there, okay? Yeah, I just want to stop suffering, you know. You want to do what? Sorry. I just want to stop suffering. She's been through so a lot. You've been going through a lot, have you? Yeah, she has as well. She has as well. What sort of things has she been going through? Been bitten by a dog a couple of years ago. Bitten by? Bitten by a dog. So she got bitten by a dog a couple of years ago? Yeah. And how's that been affecting her? Badly. Is there any sort of and is that mentally or? Today that she's been or All of it, yeah. Mentally, physically. Was she badly bitten, was she? No. Yeah. The police, what's your emergency? I've just been burgled. You've just been burgled? Yes, two, two, two young men have just entered the house and okay. walked, walked up in my handbag. Okay, just hold on please, hold on. I'll get someone out there. How long ago did this happen? Just now. Okay. Three minutes ago. Okay, all right. Okay, are you okay? I'm sorry. Okay, how old I'm are you? Shaking. Okay, how old are you, please? I'm 77. Okay. Okay. You on your own? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh. Are you okay? Sorry. Are you okay? I'm shaking, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Do you need an ambulance or anything? Yeah, are you finding it hard to breathe? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to call an ambulance. All right. Okay. 
Have you got any chest pain? What's your first name, please? Maureen. I can't talk, sorry. Okay. I'll call an ambulance for you. Hold on. Just hold on, please. Hello? 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 Maureen? Hello, Maureen? Met police, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I need police and ambulance. What for? Uh, actually, I killed my wife. You killed and your wife? Yeah. Okay, right. So, how did you kill her? Pardon? How did you kill your wife? Oh, he's uh, with the, his scarf and I. He uh, went hold her neck. And he strangled her with her scarf? Yeah. Mohammed Ann Harali was seen walking to the shop to purchase knives, rope, a hammer, and a screwdriver. He then strangled his wife at her home in East London. Officers were met at the door by Ali, who was fully dressed and calmly drinking a cup of tea. He led the officers to the living room where Nazia Begum Ali's body was found lying on the floor. Ali admitted he had killed his wife and brazenly asked the officers to be quiet because his two young children were sleeping upstairs. Cops later discovered Nazia wanted a divorce after ending their two-year marriage but Ali refused to sign papers. Despite the fact Nazia had told Ali she didn't want to be in a relationship with him, and they had separated, Ali accused his wife of having an affair after she started seeing another man in April last year. He then went to Nazia's address and hid in a cupboard, waiting for her to return home. They found markings to her ankle and lower shin that implied she was tied up for a significant period of time. Following her death, Ali covered her body with a white sheet and then went to sleep with his children. He has been sentenced to 26 years in prison. Let's go, let's go to rescue. Okay, I've got my two children are drowning. We're in Barmouth, right on the pier when it's going in. And I can't see them. I can't see them. My two children are 10 and 12. 10 and 12. Are they good swimmers? I can't see them anymore. Don't worry, we'll be getting some assistance out to you now. Okay, my colleagues are working in the background. They're getting you some assistance, okay? My husband is actually trying to find them. He can't see them. I think they're after the way out of the dead. The second we, we noticed them in trouble, we pho I phoned in. So my colleagues have already, my colleagues have taken multiple calls as well, okay? So they are aware of it, there's a lifeboat on the way, the lifeboat will be there shortly. We've also got a Coast Guard rescue team coming to your location as well. Barmouth lifeboat, they've already launched, okay? They should be coming out just from behind you, so they should come past you shortly. Sammy, she's breathing. Yes. Shall I? Don't worry, Millie, as I said, they'll be there very, very shortly. They've already launched, okay? Just keep looking out to me, Melina. Just keep telling, keep so obviously speaking to me, keep telling me what you can see. Can we see the lifeboat now? Should be orange. I know it, I know it feels like a really long time. The, light, the lifeboat is just marked down as on scene now. Um, so the lifeboat is in the area. So they'll, they'll, they'll be out looking at the moment. I think my, my, my husband and one of my children are walking uh, walking back now. It's my other, most of the other child. But I think one Did of you... my children got swept further because my husband is one of my children. How are, you, how, are you, how, how are your husband and daughter doing? Are they okay? They're fine. I'm just not terrified. We're fine. Where's my other one? going to pass that message on to the Coast Guard that your husband and 10 year old daughter are now safe with you on the pier. Uh, the lifeboat has picked up one person, okay? Yeah. So the lifeboat has got one person on board. The guy from Coast Guard walked up to us and they've got Mabel. They've got, the, ambulance they've got, they've got her. They've got my, t my older daughter, Dad, that's what she said. Yeah, so all, all persons have been located. Uh, one is with mum and dad, the other is with the lifeboat crew at the moment. We're going to all make our way up to the lifeboat station. The one on board the ILB will receive uh, assessment from the ambulance. Hiya, Melina. Right, we all happy then that everyone's been located. Great, thank you very yeah. much for having no, me. Really no, good no, no problem at all. Ambulance services, patient breathing. Uh, 
Is that where your wife is now? Yeah, well, I've just come home. I was, I was just out. I went to get, like, something to eat and see the lads at work and get my laptop. And I've yeah. just come home and the house is ransacked. And she's just on the floor. She's got duct tape all over her and she's like... Pharmacist who murdered his wife with a Tesco carrier bag so he could start a new life with his boyfriend has been jailed for a minimum of 30 years. Maidesh Patel, 37, strangled and suffocated Jessica. 34, and then staged a burglary at the couple's home in Middlesbrough on 14 May. Jurors heard he had planned to claim a £2 million life insurance payout and move to Australia with his lover D.R. Amit Patel. He had a series of affairs with men he met via the dating app Grinder. Patel, who claimed his wife was his best mate, injected her with insulin before strangling and suffocating her with the bag at their home on the avenue. He then bound her with duct tape and ransacked the house in an attempt to blame burglars for her death. Follow for part 2, which is the full 999 call. The lies he tells in it are shocking. Police emergency. Oh, hiya. I, I, I think we've been burgled and my wife's been attacked. Where about what's, what's the address? Is, is, right, is that where your wife is now? Yeah, well, I've just come home. I was, I was just out. I went to get, like, something to eat and see the lads at work and get my laptop. And I've yeah. just come home and the house is ransacked. And she's just on the floor, she's got duct tape all over her, and she's like, unconscious. Right. I'm trying, shall I take this duct tape off her? Can she breathe? Well, no, because she's can, take the Take the duct tape off her then. Please, can you send someone quick? Yeah, I am, I am, I am, I am. Can I say your name, please? My name's Mitch. Okay. I can't get it off her. Yeah. My battery's really low as well, so if I die... I'm going to get someone straight out, okay? How long will they be? I'm going to get them travelling on blue lights and we're going to get an ambulance straight out as well. Okay. okay. You said your wife's... Is your wife breathing? Can you feel no, a pulse? No, I, I, I can't feel anything. Her hands are really cold. How long have you been out of the house? About an hour. What's your wife called, please? Jessica. What's the date of birth? 20, no, 16983. Just try and stay calm. Is it Mitesh I'm speaking to? Yeah, it is. Listen, listen we've got police travelling down now. Okay. <laughs> we've got police travelling down now. Can okay. you my dad, please? What, well, sorry? Can you ring my dad? Do you, do you want to ring him? Well, what should I wait for the... I don't know what to do. Listen, listen, we've got officers on the way to you now. We've got a few units heading towards, OK? <laughs> OK, listen, listen, Mitesh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hang up the call. We've got lots of units heading towards, OK? Ring your dad well, up. Gonna... Ring your dad up. Yeah. Just, just stay with your wife. Are there any other people in the house? Have you got any children in the house? No, we don't have any children. Right, okay. Well, we live on our own with, with the pharmacist at Roman Road. Right. My parents live in Halifax. Right. So right, I've got the duct tape off her. There was, it was on her legs, right, by her ankles, and on her arms, the tied, 
like if we should be tied up. But I'm hungry really cold. Are there any are there any um, marks on her at all? Uh, uh, well, I can see marks on her neck, like really dark neck. She's been tied up by her hands. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, uh, tape around her legs. Yeah. And marks around her neck. Yeah. She's got like blood on her nose and like stuff dripping out onto the floor. Right. What position is she lying in at the moment? She's in the recovery position. I've okay. In that already. No, okay. And and she's not re- she's non-responsive. No, just come on, baby, wake up. We've got <laughs> Mitesh, Mitesh, Mitesh. This, please listen to me, please. Baby, wake up. We've got we've got an ambulance coming. They're travelling on blue lights as well. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we've got a, we've got. Will you ring my dad, please? There's no, there's nobody on scene, is there, Mitesh? No, there's nobody here. I had a nobody. Here in the house. Okay. What, what room I'm are you? Here. Okay, listen, listen. The police are outside. Can you let the They're police here. officers in? It's Jessica. I'll leave her with you, okay, Mitesh. I'll leave you with the police officers. Okay. 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 I um. In Santa Distinction, I have basically been suffering with psychosis for about a year now. Um, and last night, I have literally walked past somebody when they were sat at the doorstep. And um, I thought I'd seen the devil. So I kicked them in the face and I've, I have think I think they might be... Um, I think I've, I've killed them. So I, I basically mean to tell you that I've, I might have killed somebody. An hour before he committed the stabbing of Charlotte Wilcock, he was on someone's Snapchat story rapping about killing someone. Four, now stomp on your face to the floor. Now stab your face on the floor, put it on the curb. You already got a ready for the turbo. Four, now stomp on your face to the floor. Now stab your face on the floor, put it on the curb. You already got a ready for the turbo. Stinson was given a minimum of 24 years and two months in prison. Police emergency. Hello, this is uh, Brent. Uh, Would you please send uh, police? I killed my wife. Uh, My wife is uh, driving me crazy for some time already. uh, Okay. She was uh, going to leave me. How long ago did this happen? Uh, I don't know. 45 minutes, I think. Okay. Alright, just stay on the line for me. Lawrence, are you sure that your wife is actually... You know, what what have you done to her? I'm Okay. And that was 45 minutes ago? Yeah. I think so. Okay. I'm not sure. Have you checked if she's still breathing or anything like that? No. 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 And have you still got the knife on you, Lawrence? Or where, where's the knife now? It's in the kitchen. There's a knife upstairs. Is that the knife that you used? No. Okay. But did you also use one that's in the kitchen, or was it just the one that's upstairs? No, both. Okay. There should be some police at the no. door. No. Yeah. Hey, it's emergency. Well, I robbed the bank the other day, yeah? You robbed in, the bank the other day? I got in Dartford, yeah? Right. And I wanted to hand myself in. Right. Um Okay. I, I wanted to know what advice you'd give me, what, what, how am I best to go about doing it? Okay, so when, when did you say you did that? Friday. And what bank? Lloyd's Bank in Dartford. Okay, bear with me. <clears throat> Alright. What's your name? Roy Sinclair. Roy Sinclair? Yeah. Okay. And where are you at the minute, Roy? I'm back in Dartford and I want to hand myself in, yeah? Alright, All right, so I, I come back. I do appreciate that. Just give me a second, alright, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. What time did it happen on Friday? 
Um, about four o'clock. Okay, did you, did you have any weapons on you? Yeah, knife. Okay, um, where about in Dark Fleet in a minute? I'm a dark fleet, I'm at the bus stop trying to get to Edge Street Police Station. Oh, you're actually trying to get there at the minute, are you? Yeah. And you're quite compliant, yeah? You're quite happy that you want to hand yourself in? Yeah. There's one bus here, no, the wrong no, one. No, just, just stay, oh. stay where you are for the, for the time being, Roy. Don't don't get on the bus. You're going to send the unit for me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that for you, no problems. What's What are you wearing? Um, black tracksuit and black trainers. You are on your own. Have you got any weapons on you? No, no, nothing like that. Do you know the road name that you're on? Is it the actual no. the bus station? I um, know, it's at the bus stop I'm at. I'm outside oh. the, um, opposite the gym, opposite Aldi. There's a beast there, I think. You got, you just, I'll wait for you definitely with them. Alright, let me in now. I can fix it, remember, yeah? At the moment in time, you're under arrest for robbery for the Lloyds Bank that you admitted to up the An armed robber who threatened to kill a Dartford bank worker, before later calling the police for advice, has been jailed. Roy Sinclair threatened the employee with a knife before stealing discontinued £20 notes in February 2022. Two days later, he handed himself into Kent police and admitted robbery and possessing an offensive weapon in a public place. He has been jailed for five years and for months. A family returning home were left speechless after logging into their home security app mid-flight and witnessing burglars ransacking their house. One of the intruders was even seen wielding a long screwdriver. The terrifying incident, filmed in Rochdale, has been shared by Greater Manchester Police in a bid to address the surge in break-ins in Asian communities leading up to Ramadan. The house owners had gone on a spiritual journey to Mecca. Halfway through their return flight, they logged onto an app on their phone that showed the horrifying event happening in their own house. Everything was upside down, all the drawers had been turned out and the cupboards and cabinets had been opened. They had opened all the doors and emptied boxes. Everything was inside out and all over the place. They were clearly looking for something. They were going through small places where you would normally hide things, important stuff like money, jewelry, and gold. It was almost like they were using a metal detector. All the cushions from the sofa had been removed, where coins might have fallen down the sides. Around Ramadan, Muslim families often travel to visit relatives and might spend time away from their homes, leaving them vulnerable to burglars. It's a very social period of time and people tend to spend time with loved ones. Even though no gold was stolen, Greater Manchester Police believe that the house was set upon for its gold content. It is understood that thieves are specifically targeting Asian homes as, customarily, these households are more expected to have pure gold items passed down through families. Tim, Sally, please, what's your emergency? I've got four masked men outside my house and they've got weapons. They came round earlier and now they're in my ha They're at my property in Stamford, And Dingley. what weapons have they got? Um, Handheld things, they're all masked. And um, what's your name? Peter Wallace. And your postcode? RG76JP. And what number are you? I'm at Privet House. It's, uh, it's uh, not a number. It's uh, Privet House. Privet House, yeah. yeah. And um, what weapons did you say? Oh, I saw them handheld things uh, a moment ago. I don't know whether they're coming to break in this house. I don't know whether they're coming to there. Yeah, can you please send someone? Someone, are they trying to get into your property? They, they are going to break into something. They're getting into, trying to get into my garage or, or something. Is that them I can hear in the background? No, that's me shuffling about trying to see them. And when did you see them before? Well, I saw them before at five o'clock, but that's, uh, they, they come back in a different car, I presume. And what do you think the weapons were? Oh, just hand, uh, well, there's a handheld piece of wood or something. But, uh, I think they're just breaking into my garage to nick my stuff, eh? And they're quite threatening outside. I presume they know I'm in here. Can you get the registration number? I've got GK53, I thought, but uh, they came in another... And when you said I masks, get, are they... Got, okay? Masks, what do you mean? Are they well, faces they, covered? They've got, 
So yeah, they've got their faces covered, gloves on, hats on. Are you at home alone? Yeah. Oh, and they're stealing my squad bike. I'm going out there now. No, no, don't go out there. I'm going out there now. No, because if they've got weapons... Yeah, I don't care. I've got to protect that bike. I'm just taking the squad bike. No, your safety Please. is important. Stay in your property. Please send someone. I'm going Someone's out on there. their way. No, no, don't go out there. Have you sent someone or not? Officers are on their way. Right. But you can't go out there. I'm going If they've out. got a weapon, then you'll, you'll be hurt. Well, there's all sorts of bits of wood out there. They could pick up anything, but they're not taking my van by. You need to stay in your property. Taking it. Have you, does it have a registration number? Peter, do that, does your bike have no, a registration number? No, they tried to take the bike. They can't take it. They're going, I think. Can you oh, see their vehicle? Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're doing a f coming in around the f car. Can you still they're see gonna, them outside? They're going to drive into my f obviously and around the f I don't know what they're doing. Can you see what make and model the vehicle is? No, it's GK53CYG. Yeah, they're backing in. They're backing into the property now. This is bad, they're going to try and come in here. Are you able to get into a safe location, into a room? No, not really. Do you think they're trying to get into the vehicle to ram your property? I don't know quite. I don't quite know. They tried to lift the bike and take the bike, and now they're pondering what to do. And I'll tell you what, that's not going to turn out well for me. I hope someone's on their way. Someone, we've got several officers en route, OK? Are they still out there now? No, they're coming back out. They're getting back out of the car. Oh, they're in the when you saw them earlier, what were they doing? I don't know. They jumped out of the car earlier in a different car. I presume it's the same people. And what are they doing now? They're just wondering what to do. I think because nothing's happened, they're going to come and try and... And they're just standing around? No, they're going back. I don't know what they're doing. What, into your garage? No, 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 I can't quite see. I can't see any of them, and they're all out of the car. And how many of them are there? Three, four. I mean, they had sweet them, and they made up to just jump in the car and went to go, but then decided not. We've got lots of units on their way, OK? Yeah, if they come from the top and the bottom of Stamford Dingley, they probably have them, there's nowhere to go, but... Yeah, they've changed their mind, they're going to have another go. So they're going to your garage? Oh, they're f***ing tow rope out. They're going to try and tow my car or something. Now I've got four masked men outside my house and they've got weapons. They came round earlier and now they're in my house, they're at my property. Oh, they're f***ing dragging it out the road, they've got the bike out and they're dragging the What, the quad bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on their vehicle? It. Yeah, they're dragging it up the road towards Tuts Clump and... Towards where? Towards Tuts Clump. Doors? Towards Tuts Clump, Bradfield, South End. Right. Right, see, I don't know if they've left my on both here or not. I don't know about it. And what type of vehicle is it, Peter? It's a... It's a what, their, their one? Yeah. It's a silver, silver car, silver hatchback. We couldn't see the make. Mm. And they're towing with a tow rope, my quad bike, by the handlebars around it. Oh, Sorry, like I said, we've got several units. Yeah, well, they're, they're 
Bedford or Bradfield or something like that. Oh, I should have gone out there. No, no, Peter, don't. You, you, your safety is important. I know it's your quad bike. And can you have you lost sight of them? Yeah, yeah, they've gone. They've gone up the hill. Yeah. Well, like I said, we've got several. It'll be a silent approach, okay, just because we don't want to make them alarm them that, were, that we're on our way, okay? Yeah, well, they've gone up the hill, so go, go towards Bradfield. Is it that road? Yeah, is that a road or the area? That's, that's the village up the road from me, Bradfield South End. Okay, I appreciate your direct. I, I don't know the area, so I'm relying on your. You know the area. Yeah. And did they take anything else, or is it just your quad bike? I don't think they no. did. I think they just they just targeted it. They don't guess. Did they say? Did they break into the garage? Or was it outside? No, I presume, that, I presume they just wanted the, the quad bike. I don't know. I couldn't quite see. I presume they went towards the garage. But the quad bike was outside. Yes. Hmm. So were they outside your house earlier? Yeah, yeah. Police car came down the road after it, not not that long mm. afterwards. Yeah. Presume that they, you were looking for them already. About ten minutes later, a police car came down the bloody road. They actually changed cars. See, they. I don't know. Earlier on, they came in a in a car with the number plates taped up. Mm. Should have gone out there. They could have been ran earlier. So we've got people out there looking for them now, okay? They shouldn't be hard to miss if they're towing a quad bike. Yeah, well, I don't know what they might be doing. They're going towards the A4, no doubt. Sorry, I'm just trying to read Is that the only way, or...? No, no, no. You've got a few words. I presume I don't know which way they're going. I just want to keep you on the phone, OK? Just to... <coughs> and you don't know if the quad bike's got a um, registration number? Yes, it's got a registration number in theory. It's got a tracker, but I don't know where. I don't know how that works. Do you know what the registration is for the quad bike? Um, find it for you. Thanks. I think it's RX19. It's a new one. Because we might be able to, um, we've got the vehicle, but we we can do some checks for the registration number for your quad bike as well. That's right. That's right. You were going to make your way once they had There's a tracker of some yeah. sort. Mm -hmm. but I'm trying to find the info. It's on my phone, and I'll probably lose you if I can't try to find it. But that's okay. Have you ever been targeted like this before?
um, out of it. Well, this is the problem. This is the problem. Um, what I'll do is I can I can ask people the uh, day shift when uh, they come on shift, and uh, so we'll probably talk here. Yeah, okay. That is actually that is mentioned. Okay, so that's there. It's fantastic. Okay, well um, the the day term will come on, or the early term one will come on probably about six or seven o'clock. That might work out quite well. So I'll send that message over. That's a pity. I know it's easy for me to say, but if they had weapons, we wouldn't need to have got hurt. Well, I suppose if I see weapons, it could have just, it could have been, a, could have intended it as a tool to get the bike off, you know, rather than a weapon. You, still, you, know. you just don't know who these people are or what they've got on them. You just. No, my brother-in-law was working with me the other week tonight, and he said that he found a, a big. Stocky Romanian guy, Eastern European guy, around the back of the mm. garage, and this guy was leading them then he was a big stocky fella. Mm. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. But I suspect so. I suspect so. I know officers haven't come to you yet, Pete, but they are out there looking for it, okay? I can see, um... So I just, uh, if I try and find some sort of tracking number and call you back or something, I mean, is there a... Maybe, can I just... Do you want me to give you this reference number? Um... Yeah, it's 1614. 1614. And then it's today's date, so it's 150819. Like I said, officers are out in the um, out looking for them, and, and as soon as one of the officers, they'll come and see you and speak about what's happened, okay? But they want to obviously get the suspects before they um, come and see you. If you see anything else, give us a call straight away on 999. Will do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Someone will be in contact. Okay. Nothing Thank nothing. you. No problem. Take care. Bye. 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 Andrew was on shift as a police constable when he was called to investigate a robbery and never came home. After getting caught up in the tow rope of a getaway car, PC Harper was dragged for more than a mile at speeds of over 40 miles per hour and died at the scene. PC Harper came across a car towing the stolen quad bike, and PC Harper left the police car and ran to the suspect's car. Tragically, in doing so, he got part of his body caught in the strap which had been used to tow the quad bike. And with the quad bike no longer attached, the suspects drove off, but with PC Harper lassoed to the rear of the car. Eventually, after around a mile, PC Harper was disentangled from the moving car, but was found in the road by another colleague, where he was pronounced dead. Rip and Drew Harper gone, but not forgotten. Follow for part three.